Good morning guys and gals, Old Guy Riding here. I am going to give you a history lesson today that if you're an American, you probably had no clue that it even existed. So prepare yourself for this. A few weeks back, I was just going through some movies, decided to watch a movie about the first female deputy sheriff in the West. And during the movie, they were after this gang. And this gang was headed by a black man. And most of his gang were white, a couple of blacks, and maybe a Mexican. Anyway, this outlaw and his right-hand man, who was a white guy, go into a bar. And another black man comes up because he recognizes the one black guy, the outlaw black guy. And he recognized him as being his owner at one time. So uh, I'm thinking, wait a minute, this guy is a black slave owner? I had no clue. We were never taught this in any courses during my schooling. So I was curious, so I decided to research it, and I did. And I ended up buying a book by a gentleman called Larry Koger, K-O-G-E-R, a black man. And he did an in-depth study about black slave owners in South Carolina further focusing on Charleston City. I had absolutely no idea. And I think most Americans, both black and white, think that slavery was a white thing. Well, it wasn't. And these black slave owners Though they say some were benevolent and once they were set free or emancipated for whatever reason, it could be loyal service, it could be acts that they performed during the Revolutionary and Civil War. Once they were set free, they accumulated enough money to buy their wife or husband or their kids, some instances, friends, and then they would end up emancipating them. However, they would also purchase other slaves because they realized that if you want to get ahead in the world at this time, you want to prosper, you need cheap labor. And <laughs> there's no cheaper labor than slaves. And according to this guy's book, the black slave owners were just as ruthless and just as exploiting as the white. I had no idea. I think that this book should be mandatory reading for all high school students. In the United States, we have tension between the races, black and white. And a lot of blacks wanted reparation, which means they wanted a payoff for their ancestors being slaves. Well, where do you start? You're gonna to have to get reparation from your own people. Or maybe you yourself are a descendant of one of the black slave owners. It really should be taught because I think I think there's a lot of hatred from the black community because of slavery and because they think it was a white thing if it could just be taught that both races were slave owners and both treated their slaves poorly in some cases 
There were cases of black slave owners whose slaves would run away and they would put an ad in the paper to retrieve them. And once they were found and brought back, they would be put in a stockhouse. And once they got out of the stockhouse, it wasn't uncommon for the black slave owners to flog their own slaves. Most of it was done so that they could prosper, so that they could make more money. And it's not just a handful of people that did this, there were a lot. And all the data in this book are from census, wills, other documents, and it's all logged in the book. So this guy really did his research. And I think it might help to ease the tension between the races if the truth were to come out about it. Maybe a little bit of hatred would dissipate knowing that their own people were just as guilty. I don't know. Let me know what you think. That's the history lesson for today. Ride well, everyone. Old guy riding. I'll see ya.